Hi guys. Okay, I'm going to show you what's in my pocketbook. Um, oh, this is my go-to pocketbook. I've had this for years, and I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the shape, the the perfect size of it, the way I could wear it. Why I always go for this pocketbook. And when I do switch pocketbooks, I always put her on a hook. So I, it, when I need to, I grab her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I consider this my safety net pocketbook. That makes any sense to anybody? I just love this pocketbook. So let me show you what she looks like. She is double strapped, so she's got one strap here, and um, she looks like this. And I had her before my oldest, and he's 12. So I gotta say that I ha I've had this pocketbook maybe 15 years. I'm trying to think what apartment I had first gotten her in, but um, yeah. I got her at Daffy Dan's, if anybody's in, in Jersey, um, there's a store called Daffy Dan, they're also in New York, and um, they're like, they're like a, um, they're like a Marshalls, but with brands you've never heard of, and most of the brands that come from Italy and all that, they're very high end, and they're just like Marshalls, they sell children's, they s sell um, men's, women, shoes, Coats, underwear, jewelry, a little bit of everything. And um, a lot of their stuff comes from like overseas, like Italy, uh, France, um, Spain. So yeah. So this this one here is a brand I've never heard of. And I've never Googled it. And I don't know why. Um, I Google everything. The brand is called... Where's the brand? Where's the brand? The brand is called... IFO New York but I loved it when I got it because I like the way how big it was I like that it folded up really nice so I could travel with it you know if I didn't want to use it I could just you know roll it up and put in the suitcase or put inside another bag yeah so it's got one strap here just what it looks like see it it's black yeah, you all should know that I'm I'm infatuated with black and white um, and then, you know, you can make it smaller, I guess, to clinch it, to make it a little more closer to your body. I myself like it like this because I like to put it like this. Yeah. And then it has this right here. This is a one that's here and here, and then I can put it across my body. Yeah. So... This is my the pocketbook I mostly have most of the time on me. Um, it's got an outside zipper, which I have nothing in it. When I do, I think I put receipts in there or if the kids want me to carry something. Because, you know, if you have kids, you're, you are the pack mule. So inside, there's another pocket right here, and there's nothing in there. Now what I do have in here is, um, okay, here we go. I have, I have a notebook. This in here has um, everybody's size, shirts, pants, inseam, waist, shoe size, um, yeah. And then certain brands that I know each child likes. My, my youngest likes Vans, my oldest likes anything that's comfortable. It's like a little old man. And then, of course, my husband. And so I have everything in here. I also have in here um, any cosmetics that I'm looking for or anything that I don't like. I have a, a don't like page just in case somehow I forget and I buy it knowing that I don't like it. Because um, I've tried so much. So I also have... Um, uh, websites in here that I <laughs> when I go to the bookstore I might see it so I'll jot it down in here because um, I don't want to buy the magazine and what it is and then in here I also have um, um, a list of all the all the rooms in our house how how long and how wide they are the window size everything just in case there's a curtain on sale or a piece of furniture on sale and I can look at the measurements and work with it I have my date book that I bought at uh, Marshall's for $2.99, I think it was. 
got a little amami on it with an apron. And it says to the do it all mom. Yeah. And then it just got dates and I put in, you know, if I have any appointments or if anything happened um, throughout the week that was funny, I put it in there. It's like a little diary slash appointments. Um, then I have this. I have a full body, po a full poncho. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. A little disposable one. Um, medications such as Tylenol, Advil, Aleve, um, Excedrin. Yeah. I have a little cup. One of those cups. Um, I have uh, Clorox cleanse, um, uh, wipes. I don't know about you, but when we go out to eat, mostly at the mall or at McDonald's or something like that, I like to use those to clean the table off. And the little toilet paper wipes. And a chocolate bar, so when my sugar drops, I have something chocolatey to snack on. Um, <clears throat> let me put that out of there. Then I have my like a makeup case I guess as some people call it I call it my little bit of everything let me show you I've had this ever since I got married so this is really old it's called uh, this is made from this is the company's called studio basics a Paris percent company <laughs> yeah I love this bag um, I adore it this is the little one what it has is it has a little zipper area here and in here I have the band-aid stick dental floss more Tylenol and the my blotting paper uh-huh I did have alcohol in here for some reason that dried out on me and then in the middle one I have my little brushes that I have been getting those um, retractable ones um, and I have a plastic bonnet I put my hair up in a bun when it's raining I put my little bonnet on and I could go out because most of the time I don't have an umbrella or I go into the mall when I come out, it's raining, and my umbrella is in the car, and that doesn't help me any. Um, I have a nail clipper and a nail file. And here is everything womanly like. I have two way tape, I have the bra clipper, I have a shoe pad, I have the back part for the shoe, you know, when they rub up against you. I have uh, nipple guards. Did I say two way tape? I have all of that in here. I put one of uh, one of everything in here, so just in case I'm out with somebody or um, anywhere like that, I have that. In here, I have paper soap. Um, I have a body wash cloth uh, that you pull out, and it's already damp, and you could just wipe it. Refreshes you. Um, um, what is that called? Um, Band aids. I have the hand sanitizer, and then I have the spray. Because my youngest, every time he goes in the bathroom, he always says it stinks. And I'm like, what do you think it's called? The bathroom, sweetie. This is what they do in here. So he'll spray in there, make it smell so he doesn't gag. Um, and then, last but not least, I've been using this and I love it. My caboodle. Is that what it's called? Kangaroo or some, whatever it's called. This thing? Yeah, I love it. In here, I have my little mirror. And that one's the one that lights up. Yep. Got that. I have my wallet, which um, I love. It's a very thin wallet, nothing out of this world. Uh, I don't carry a checkbook or anything like that. I have lots of receipts. Most of them are CVS. I cut them out and I keep them in here. Um, lotto tickets, which I have to go check on. A um, little bit of cash. I got cleaned out today. My son asked me for lunch money. Um, business cards. Barnes and Noble. Are they still around? Have their card. Um, you know, credit cards. That whole license. That whole thing. Insurance cards. That wonderful thing. Um, then I have my business cards for both companies. I have. Um, my hand cream that smells like nothing by that brand. I really like that. Uh, not as good as the other one I got, but this one's good when I'm on the go. Oh, lip gloss that I love, which I'm running really low. I only have three bottles left. Um, 
my camera. And this. The one thing I don't leave home without is my tape measure. I love it. Um, only because if I'm out and about and there's a piece of furniture, I, I know that's in my book, I might look and see it. And if I'm somewhere, I can measure it, see if it fits in that place I want to put it. Yeah, um, I go to a lot of reuse it stores, a lot of Goodwill stores, and that's where you really get some good stuff. And uh, in the summertime when they do garbage day, when people throw stuff out, I'll go through, I'll do that. Um, yeah, and then I have it recovered, refur refurbished, and it looks like a uh, $900 piece, and I got it for free, and it cost me 200 to have it recovered, and yeah. And that is everything in my pocketbook, except my keychain. Now, if I decide to run into the store, the only thing I have to do is put my driver's license in here in a credit card and some cash, but this is technically a first aid kit, which I love. And then I have my keys, house keys, car keys, garage keys, mailbox key, freezer key. Um, I have a, I have two little flashlights. <laughs> um, I have that little card from CBS, you know, if you don't use paper. I have a magnifying glass. I have my handy dandy keychain tool, which is a screwdriver. But I also could use this if I'm in trouble. It's clipped onto one of these things. I can clip it right off, put it right in my hand. And God forgive them. Um, doo -doo -doo. And then I have two of these right here. Um, you know, they're um, my little things that hold all those little cards that you get. Yeah, that's what I got. So I got two of them. And then I get a little picture of one of my, my oldest son and this keychain here, uh, this quarter holder. And that is it for my pocketbook. Um, I have this extra one that I keep in the car, which is what I'm using the other one for. And in here, I have extra pens, I have game pa um, pads, I have um, the Scrabble flash that I take this bag when I go into the restaurant with the boys so I can keep them occupied before my food gets in. This game, I have a little chessboard magnetic to play with the boys um a pair of extra reading glasses um two, 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 and that's it yeah so that's everything that's in my pocketbook and my little bag that sits in the car all right guys talk to you later bye